Hey guys, this is Sophie and this time I'd like to share with you some challenge ideas that were mostly set up for the more recent Sims games, but they are totally fun to try out in the Sims 1 as well if you want to relieve your nostalgic childhood memories in 2020. The Apocalypse Challenge Personally, I think that The Sims 1 is one of the best games to experience the downfall of an existing culture and to rebuild a completely new society. The main feature of this challenge is that you can live through all of it in a single generation. So create a sim with a suiting post-apocalyptic look, move him on an empty lot of your choice and surround him with the perfect end-of-the-world atmosphere. Avoid placing electric and luxury items. Make this period for him as miserable as possible. To progress with the challenge, we are going to use the game feature that when you reach the top of a career, eventually you will be transferred onto another one, as you can see this on this image. In the first era, which takes place right after the apocalypse, you will start out in the extreme career, symbolizing that day by day you have to go out and risk your life to find food and survive. This era will end once you got transferred to the military career track. The second era will symbolize the period of the first attempts to reorganize society and restore some order. So life conditions will be still very humble, but in the end of this era, you will be the one in charge over the remaining sim community. Getting transferred to the law enforcement career track means that the situation is now much more stabilized. The community doesn't need a militaristic organization to keep things going anymore. They can switch to a lighter form of assuring peace and order. You can also provide better life conditions to your sims, including building a nice, normal house. In the first era, you can witness the rise of culture once again by working on the reintroduction of amusement into the everyday life of your sims in the entertainment career. Life conditions are perfectly okay by now. You can use every item that you find fitting, including electronics. They gotta watch you on those late night shows somehow. And the final and probably biggest challenge will be to prove your worth to the entire community and make them choose you as their leader by reaching the top of the political career. Once you completed this, you can really lay back and enjoy the rest of your eternal life. You survived the worst, stayed strong and became the best possible leader of this new world. Beauty and the Beast The title sort of speaks for itself. Create a charming sim with a terrible personality, then make a beauty or beast charm and transform yourself into a real monster. Of course it's purely cosmetic and has no real effect on your gameplay, but as marrying an uncontrolled sim can be pretty hard in The Sims 1, the struggles will be just as real as trying to date as a horrific beast. Once you manage to find the love of your life, turn your sim back into Prince Charming and make them live happily forever after. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Let's stay around these good old fairy tales for a little longer. The maximum amount of sims in a household is 8. A perfect opportunity to spice up the good old asylum challenge with some child labor. So create your Snow White as an adult sim and 7 children as dwarfs. Feel free to customize their personality points as much as you can to fit their original descriptions. Once you're done, move them into a nice house in the middle of the woods. Make sure to have 7 little beds to sleep in and 7 little chairs in the dining room. As Snow White, your task will be to feed them and clean the house while they are at work. So send them to school regularly, but then also make them work on paintings in their remaining free time that you can sell to make a living. The Martian Inspired by the movie of the same name, the challenge starts with leading a normal life at the beginning. Your goal is to reach level 9 of the military career and become an astronaut. When you earn that promotion, redesign the lot to make it look like you are on a Martian base, all alone. Create your garden and stock up with some seeds. Sadly potatoes are not available, but you can replace them with beans or tomatoes. So plant your first 5 seeds and don't forget to buy a pantry as well where you can store your vegetables. While waiting for the first harvest, you can consume snacks from the pantry, meaning that you're living up the original food stocks, but then try to rely more and more only on what you produce. So the rest is really up to you. In the movie, Mark Watney spent more than 500 days on Mars, so maybe you can try and survive for 50 days, or maybe longer if you want to make it harder. Anyway, once you survive, come back to your regular life and earn your promotion as a general. You deserve it after all. Rex to Riches This challenge is a very popular one and fits every Sims game, including The Sims 1. 
All you have to do is to get rid of all your money in the first step and get whatever job you can and start building up your life from scratch. I mean, it's still easier than dating. This is Sparta. <coughs> this is Sparta! Let's infuse a good selection challenge with some antique history. Browsing the outfits, you will eventually come across these beautiful Greek costumes, so let's make good use of them. The best version is to create a couple and make them choose their rightful successor among six children by making them compete against each other in pairs. And yes, you lose, you die. Home Alone Let's stop for a moment and appreciate the fact that in The Sims 1 you can create a household that contains a single child and no one else without any problem. So let him be our Kevin, move him into a nice house and let the fun begin. Throw a party every night you can and try to kill as many adults as possible. Just make sure that your own tricks don't backfire on you. So, how many tombstones can you collect in 7 days? Let me know in the comments. Alright, that's all for this video. I hope you found some ideas that you can try out for yourself in The Sims 1. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!